Ichika got busted up what you nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for gotoba no Haniyome chapter 81 and as you can tell um, my video quality has gone down a little bit and that is because this little fucker decided to crap out on me last night and all of my live reactions have been late because of this motherfucker crapping out on me. So I had to spend a good chunk of my day getting um, the cheapest webcam I could find because I didn't want to give you um, lower quality videos with uh, um, the uh, webcam that is built into my laptop because trust me, that webcam's video quality is a whole lot worse than uh, this one. So, But um, if you guys want to help me get a better quality webcam, can, which I would really, really appreciate. Uh, there's a few ways um, you can do that. You could um, uh, let me know in the YouTube comment section. Uh, you can um, let me uh, also on Twitter, uh, Facebook, um, my uh, Discord server. All that is in the description box below. Also, you can just flat out donate to my PayPal, my GoFundMe, um, or uh, my Patreon. That's all in the description box below as well. Um, I'm going to add some stuff, uh, some webcams to my Amazon wish list, um, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'll add some webcams to it so you could purchase, um, if you want to just fly out, just purchase one for me from there. Um, you could do that as well. But anyway, that's, uh, what the deal is with the webcam situation here. Anyway, um, last chapter of Gotoba no Haniyome. Oh God. So Ichika was scheming. And uh, she was going to uh, fuck shit over for um, uh, Miku again. But little did she know, Miku and Yotsuba got there first and busted her. And not only that, Usagi busted her too. Oh my god, so this shit is going to get crazy. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see... What happens next? And this chapter is titled Sisters uh, War Fourth Battle. Usegi-san, don't tell me. Did you hear what I just... Uh, Miku, Fio, finally at the top. Miku? Miku, please wait. Where are you going? Ichika, you finally did it, huh? Will you cut it out already? Making that poor girl cry. Does that make you feel satisfied? Mina, wait. Right now, it was me that... Kyotoba, it's all right. No matter the result, it was I that I, uh, came to uh, the resolve to do this. So please, just how far are you planning to... I don't want to hear this coming from you, Nino. Didn't you tell me at the hot springs that you'd be willing to knock someone else down for your love to bear fruit? What's the difference between you, uh, you and me? Let me hear it. Oh, it's... Oh, Chica. That's a good question. Um, now that you mention it, yeah, I did say that, that I wouldn't give him up to anyone else, but the bond between the five of us is just as important. Even if the day came where he'd end up choosing you, I still would have blessed your union. Ooh, Nino! Ooh, Ichika, you look like a fucking bitch right now. Oh my god, Ichika looks like a goddamn bitch right now. Ugh, I can't take even one more step. Dear me, you ate too much at the shop below. Huh? What's going on, punk? Actually, I also have no idea what... All of you, calm down for a sec. Shut up! You getting here just made things more of a mess. Go chase after Miku right away. Oh my god. Go... I... Nino, oh my gosh. Nino is being an awesome sis right now. Eh? Hurry up, start running. Fine, I get it. Sorry, guys, I'll go on ahead. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll help you find her. Good job, Yotsuba. What was that, a fight? Uh, seems like high schoolers got into a disagreement. We should probably head down as well. Yeah. Snap, snap is in the sound of a camera shutter. Damn, it seems Miku isn't here anymore. I contact, uh, contacted uh, Mitsuki with my phone. She says she's uh, riding the bus together with Miku. I see, then let's ride one too. Usagi-san, what I said back there at the top, did you actually hear it? I didn't hear that. Ah, the reaction. You must de most definitely heard it. I already told you I didn't hear it. Give it a rest. Usagi, quit lying! You heard that shit! Even if you say that, my careless uh, blabbering ended up hurting Miku. That's just the truth. All this time she's been working so hard, and in the end it was my, uh, it was my fault that I said that to Ichika during the family trip. 
guess you're right. It's all your fault. I swear, you should be more aware of your surroundings. So, as I thought, you really did, did hear it, didn't you? Well, I already knew anyways. What? Saggy knew? What? Eh? You already knew? Eh, what did you know? Well, you know, it's that, spe that, that specific thing. Th that Miku, about me, that she harbors feelings for me. Saggy knew! You knew! Sorry, did I hear you wrong? Can you say it one more time? No way, I've already told you. So the ever insensitive Usagi-san, actually, I can't believe it. Well, a lot of things happened. That's exactly why back when Miku told me she'd support me, I was at a loss. But that Miku wasn't her. It definitely wasn't her! She knew! Usagi! Oh my god! So don't worry about it. You worry about others too much. Um, to tell you the truth, you're overdoing it, huh? But it's all right. As I've told you already, when I failed the exam, everyone followed after me. Because of that, I brought everyone down with me. That's not something I can easily repay. So it's only right that I make sure my sisters are happier than I am. Oh, Yotsuba! My, my girl! She is best girl! This is why Yotsuba is best girl. Is that so? I was hoping everyone would have had fun with this trip. Usagi-san, is there a way to make everyone happy? Maybe. If humans uh, didn't compare themselves with each other, then maybe everyone would be happy. If that were possible, that'd be the sort of world you wish for. Yes, exactly. With that, however, speaking realistically, if someone is happy, it might be at the cost of someone else's joy. That tends to happen. That tends to happen. Competing, struggling. If, if they uh, do that, then they'll find happiness in having worked hard to achieve it. If that's what you say, then what is it that I can do? Nothing. There's only, um, what, only so much one can do. Don't you think it's asking too much to wish to solve everything? Whenever you decide to, uh, choose something, at the same time you'll have to choose, uh, something, uh, to not choose something else. Eventually the day will arrive and you'll, uh, be forced to choose eventually. Oh, Usagi's so right. Preach, my dude. Preach! Everyone, listen carefully. A voyeur has been stalking me. Eh? I've noticed ever since we arrived, oh my god, oh my god, my poor girl, my pro, poor girl Nino has been stalked, but I gotta, I want to say this about Usagi before I continue. Usagi is goddamn right about everything, about happiness, because not everybody can be happy. There's no way, because there's always a cause and effect, and also, uh, there, whatever, wherever, uh, as, I said, I've, as I've said before, um, many times on this channel, wherever there's light, there's always going to be darkness. There, you can't have... Um, just one of something. You ha uh, there's all there's always a polar opposite. That's just how shit is. But anyway, um, eh? I've noticed ever since we arrived at Kyoto Station, I'm certain of it. I saw in the news yesterday that he targets students on school trips. Even if that were the case, why would he? Wh why would they be after you, Nino? What do you mean? I knew it. I I knew it. The food's amazing, isn't it? Let's put it on Instagram. More importantly, Miku and Ichika, since in the end we weren't able to catch up, did they make it back to the hotel? Indeed, the two of them said they were too tired from walking around, so they went to the rest in their room. Well, I doubt they'll be in the same room, though. I wonder why was Miku acting on her own? I've decided I'm going to see how she is doing. Hold up. I'm almost done eating. Uh, let's, so let's go together. Nino, I've already eaten everything. Um... My apologies to bother you once more, but I cannot stand tomatoes. Do you want them? Oh, my, Usagi-kun. Is something amiss? That guy, where's uh, Maida? He's sure been at the washroom for long. Then I'll go, too. Then I guess I shall go, too, right? Please don't. Miku, Ichika, are you in there? Please open the door. No response, huh? They haven't answered their phone, and they won't even answer in our room. Miku, sorry, this is my fault. No, it's not! It's not your fault, Yotsuba! Please stop taking the blame! But even then, there's still two days left for the school trip. This time, I will, uh, I, I'll will i promise um, to make it up to you. Yotsuba, you did nothing wrong! Thank you! Thank you, Miku! Um, Yotsuba! Snap. Ha, because Nino said all those weird things, I feel like I'm hearing world stuff. Uh, weird stuff. Yes, yes, indeed. It's just our imagination. As if someone would go as far as to sneak inside a hotel to... <gasps> we got a stalker! Yeah! What's up with that screen? Did something happen? Uh, you! Now that we've run uh, this far, uh, we should be alright. Right now, just what was? You 
know that, um, that scream right now. Finally, you picked up. Ichika, you, Futarakan, I'm glad I ran into you. Are you free tomorrow? Miku, you, do you have any plans for tomorrow? There's something I want to talk to you about. Ooh, the turmoil, uh, school trip continues onwards to the second day. So we got a stalker here. Ooh. Oh, we got some stranger danger alert. We got stalker alert. Oh, geez. But I really hate that Yotsuba was blaming herself. It was not Yotsuba's fault. The only person whose fault uh, who was at fault was that bitch Ichika. But what made me happy about this chapter was Seki knew that that, that was Ichika. But the thing at the same time that's that was really kind of bothering me was Seki. Why didn't you call Ichika out on her stupid shit? That kind of pissed me off that... Usagi didn't call out Ichika on her shit when, you know, she was uh, disguised as Miku. Why didn't you call her out? I just don't understand. Why? Why didn't you call her ass out? That's really bothering me. But another thing that I liked about this chapter was what Nino said. You know, so Nino basically said, Ichika, you're a piece of shit. I, yeah, I would take, um, I, I would, uh, I would, would do just about anything to, um, uh, get, get my man, but I wouldn't fuck up our, uh, my relationship with my sisters. Fuck that. That was really awesome, too. Um, the other thing I liked about this chapter as well is I loved the Usagi dialogue. Uh, what Usagi said to Yotsuba. I thought that was really, really brilliantly written. Haruba, that was brilliantly written, but I'm very curious what you guys saw of this chapter. Um... What did what did you guys think about uh what Yotsuba said and the Yotsuba um Usagi dialogue and what did you guys think about um uh, what I said about why uh, why it didn't if Usagi knew why didn't he call Ichika out on her shit why it's just really bothering me I just oh it's really pissing me off. And what do you think about the stalker? Who who do you think the stalker is? Do you think um, possibly um, the uh, oh my god, what was his name? Shit, where is that motherfucker's name? Um, do you think it's Maida? Because Maida was missing for a while, so it could be Maida. But they said the stalker was there. The stalker was known for a while, but you never know. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and also help me get a better webcam, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerd I'll be seeing you later. Bye.